Hi everyone, my name is Peter. Thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound. I want to give you six tips on how you can add energy to your playing. And maybe you're going through a song and you just need to build the energy as you go, or maybe you're playing in the background and you need your level of energy to fit the moment. So these are six ways that you can add energy to your sound. How many of these are you using in your playing? First of all, we're going to skip tip number one, and we're going to come back to that at the end of the video. Tip number two is simply play louder. Okay, this has more energy than so it's very simple, but playing louder adds more energy. Tip number three is play more notes in your chords. This has less energy than this. So simply by adding notes to your chords, you can add energy to your playing. You can also add energy through the rhythms and the number of notes that you play in your rhythms. If you're playing something simple like this, you can add more energy by adding more notes to your rhythms. So that's another way. You can also add energy by expanding your playing range. So instead of playing everything in the middle of the keyboard, you can branch out and play higher notes and lower notes. And that will add a lot of energy to your playing simply by going higher and by adding more lower notes. Tip number six is to add higher frequencies to your sound. Typically, I'll start off a song with something like this. And then as I need the energy to build, I'll add in something with higher sounds, maybe an arpeggiated synth sound and then bring it up even more when it gets to its loud. But now back to tip number one. None of that means anything unless we're also willing to play soft. So if we have something like this, it sounds much more impactful if we also have what comes after it. And it has a lot of excitement to not only have super big, loud sounds, but to have super quiet, very close sounds. So everything that I just said, kind of take the opposite. Play in the middle of the keyboard, play simple rhythms, play simple chords, play simple sounds, and just be willing to start off, so start off soft. And then that way you have room to grow and add lots of energy to your sound. I hope that gave you a couple things that you can incorporate into your playing. For more on these sounds, you can find those at ourworshipsound.com. For more on these playing techniques, you can check out fluentpiano.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.